Bill Borman. You just gave a keynote this morning at the Social Media Recruitment Conference, um, and you did 10 trends in 10 words. Yeah. And in those 10 trends, you painted a picture that suggested we've got too many candidates and we're not using technology yeah. to actually filter out and let the technology do the work for us. Yeah, I, I think what we're doing is using technology at the, at the wrong time in the wrong way. Um, so I think what we've done, and the data comes from the Candidate Experience Awards, um, which if anyone's interested is just open again, you get a free benchmarking report on all your candidates, it's free to take part. Um, and the, the really interesting data that's come out is it's 75 applicants per job to fill it takes, of which 70% are completely unsuitable mm -hmm. and should never have applied. They should have been aware that they were unsuitable before they were ever tempted in. So I think what's happened is um, for a long period of time the digital media mafia have taken over recruiting and they've made it about attraction rather than selection. They've missed the recruitment part in the social recruiting, the recruiting bit. Um, so we've come up with more and more and more creative ways to get people to apply. Um, when, and actually what we should be doing is looking at what... And I first got this idea from Unilever. It's not an original idea. It came from Paul Matson at Unilever. They have separate channels of technology for candidates and an applicant. And a candidate is someone who, who is, as long as they want to be connected with the organisation. Now, once they've chosen to be a candidate, to belong to something like a talent network, giving you access to their data so that you're going to get it, you're only ever showing them jobs that they're suitable for by location, qualification, level, whatever it is. So you, they're never tempted into applying for something that they're not right. However, you're connected with people for longer, which is going on anyway through social media and LinkedIn and all the rest of it. It's just that you can um, influence that a lot more if you run it through your own technology. So I think the challenge really, it, I think we're a, 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 attaching the wrong problem. Um, I think one of, see anyone? I, I think one of, the, one of the problems that we are, um, that we approach, we're approaching is we're actually trying to say how do we filter out applicants when they've become applicants when actually we should be saying how do we stop candidates from becoming applicants by being very visible about what we're doing and how do we use the matching technology before they apply to say actually now we've matched you maybe you should apply. Um, the other point is actually using the data that's available. We're still running recruitment processes built on you needing to give me data rather than me being able to go and get it. So uh, I, I think it's food for thought but it's built around candidate experience efficiency and more importantly I'm saying that no one ever talks about recruiter experience because there's no way you can manage that volume of people. Brilliant. Bill Borman, thanks very much. Thanks Martin.